Gross. Looks like it might be a good day to do some inside work. And I've been meaning to get to this video anyway, so let's get to it. Okay, so this is one of those videos I've been meaning to do for years. Like, literally years. Like, I think probably since I started this YouTube channel, I've been meaning to get to this one. But I never really knew how to do it because I didn't really have the technology to do a whiteboard and to do like a face to face. I didn't have, I didn't, well, maybe the technology was there, but to be honest, I didn't know how to do it. I got there now. I can do both and. So what we're gonna do in this one is we're gonna talk about the left hand rule for coils and talk about how we can determine our north and our south polarity for a coil, but also how we can work backwards and reverse engineer that. And we can use the north and south to determine the polarity of the coil itself. Now this is not to be confused with the magnetic field left hand rule, which is this one here where this is the way that the current is flowing and this is the direction of your magnetic field. In fact, maybe I'll do a video up on that after this one. Right now we're gonna talk about the left hand rule for magnetic coils, not to be confused with Faraday's left hand rule like this, the new gang sign that I did a video on a few weeks ago. This is a completely different one. This is all to do with basically electromagnets. So let's get busy and talk about it. Now, what we've got, it's important to understand here, I'm talking about the left-hand rule because I'm dealing with electron current flow. For all of you people who keep saying that I've got it backwards, you're dealing with conventional current flow. You're saying that current flows from positive to negative. There's something else out there, just so you know, called electron current flow negative to positive, which is why I use the left hand. If you follow conventional current flow, go ahead and use your right hand. But just make sure that you have an understanding why you're using what. Electron current flow, here when we're talking about it in electrical theory, we're going with current flows from negative to positive. Okay, now here's my hand. My electron current flow is my left hand. When I talk about this left hand rule, my thumb always points north. That's easy enough to do. That's pointing north. No matter where my thumb points, that would be north. That would be north. That would be north. No matter where my thumb points to, it's always going to be north, okay? My fingers, however, are the way that the current wraps around. Now, current flows from negative to positive, meaning current flows from like my knuckle over to my, my fingers there. Now, I'm just gonna adjust my ISO here. It seems to be, oh, I can't adjust my ISO, so I guess I'm just going back here like this. Can't do it on the fly. Now, what does this all mean? I'm gonna go us, send us into the whiteboard to talk a little bit about it. Now, I have had some people complain that they prefer it when I just have the whiteboard on. Some people, some people like this new format. For this one, I'm gonna have to jump in and out of the whiteboard because I need my left hand, all right? So that, that's why we're gonna go back into the whiteboard. You people who like to see more whiteboard, I hear you, okay? I, I'm coming back to that, I promise. But this one, we need this hand here, okay? So I'm gonna go into the whiteboard here. If I'm in the whiteboard and I draw like a core, so let's say I've got a nice core drawn here, and then I've got, let's say I'm gonna change my color up here, I've got a coil wrapped around this core. So I've got this coil wrapped around here. And let's say that I've got my polarities figured out. This is negative, this is positive. When I deal with this, the negative is always going to be your reference. So when I look at this drawing here, what I've got is my negative is going over top. So if we look at this, the negative is going over top. The way I look at it using the left hand rule is I see the back of my hand. Whenever the negative, which is my reference point, goes over top, that means I see the back of my hand because my hand is wrapping over top of the coil. That means that this one here, this here is gonna be north because that's the way my finger points this one here is gonna be south, okay? Now let's change that up. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to erase this and this. I'm gonna erase this and this. Now on this one, if I go the opposite direction, say this is negative now and this is positive, you can see that the coil wraps underneath because again, negative is always our reference point on this. We follow electron current flow. It's going underneath. When I do that, it's like I'm looking at the palm of my hand because it's wrapping underneath something. Use this a pen or whatever as a core. It's wrapping underneath, so I'm looking at the bottom of my hand. 
If it went over top, I see the back of my hand, okay? That to me tells me that my north pole is now this direction and my south pole is that direction. That's how we do, and how we do, how we determine the north and the south pole based off of polarities. Okay, so if, if you need to, please hit pause on the video, rewind it back and watch it again. Right? instead of me just repeating the same thing I just said. But watch for that. Just hit pause until you get your head wrapped around it. Because right now what I wanna do is give you the North and the South Pole and show you how we can determine polarities. Okay, now watch this. Now you have to understand the first part for this to work. So rewind if you have to, come on back. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, let's get rid of these polarities. Let's take this here and I'm gonna give this a, let's say this is North and this is South. If I'm looking at this coil, the only way that the north and the south works is if my hand is like this. Okay, I, my thumb has to point to the north. That means I'm looking at the palm of my hand. Unless your hand is some sort of different type of hand that I don't have, you're looking at the palm of your hand, which means that your current is going to go underneath. You're going to look for the wrap that is going underneath, and that's going to be your negative point. So let's take a look here. If I look at this drawing here, the point, whoops, I just erased something I didn't mean to. The point that is underneath is right here. Because I was looking at the palm of my hand, that tells me that this here is going to be negative and this here is going to be positive. Let's flip it around and show you what I mean just to, to make it finish this up and wrap it up nicely. Now, here we go. Let's make this south and this north. If I do that, I'm putting my hand on top because my hand has got to fall, my thumb has got to point to that north. Follow along with me, you'll get this, which means I'm looking at the back of my hand, which means it's going over top of something, right? It's going over top. If it's going over top, that is the negative. The negative lead that goes over, the lead that goes over top is my negative lead. So let's take a look at the drawing again. This is the one that goes over top because I'm looking at the back of my hand. That means that this now is going to be my negative and this is going to be my positive. And there you have it. That is exactly how you use the left hand rule for coils to determine first off your north and your south pole, thumbs always north. And then this is always the direction of current. Direction of current, we're using left hand rule which means we're going negative to positive. We can also use that rule to determine north and south, or sorry, to determine polarities if we have north and south. That's it. That's gonna be a quick and easy one for this week. I apologize that I didn't get one out for the past couple weeks. Some of you know that I've been working on my master's in learning and technology, and I ramped up. I was just at the point where I had to do what's called a oral defense. I did it, I passed it, I am now a master. <laughs> just. I've got my masters, which I'm very, very excited about. And I've got some other big things up coming up. So I'll, I'll mention those, talk about those in the future. You didn't watch this vlog or this video to hear about my future or to hear about me getting my masters. You wanted some good, solid information. Boom, there you go. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me and put a comment up down below. I try to get to them. I don't always get to them right away, but I will get to them eventually. We'll see you next week. I'm done my masters, so you're gonna see more videos. See you soon.